Hey, what's up guys? All right, so let's talk basics of a plank. Let's take it back to the basics. Let's talk about the functionality of the movement. So a plank is great to work on all the stabilizers. So shoulder stabilizers, core stabilizers, glutes, all that good stuff. This is total body engagement when we do a plank. And we see a plank throughout all exercises. Even a burpee at some point comes into a plank, a push-up, we're still in a plank form. So it's really, really important to make sure that we have the foundation for that plank done. So let's talk about placement. So the first thing I'm going to show you is full out, full arm plank position. It looks like this. The first thing that's super important to remember is that my shoulder and my hand are aligned. And then from here, my shoulder blades come back and down so they're away from my ears. Because remember, ears and shoulders, they're enemies, so we gotta keep them down. Now, from this position, I'm gonna raise up. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under. My feet are about hip width apart and this right here is a full plank. You feel it through the upper shoulders, you feel it through the core, and you should feel this in your glutes because you're squeezing so much. Squeeze the inner thigh, squeeze the glutes, make sure everything's tucked, and you have those shoulders down and back when we're doing a plank. So, a lot of people complain, oh, my wrists hurt when I do planks. First thing that you can do, go up on the knuckles. So, it's very important that your knuckle placement is not out this way that you're right underneath thumbs are down and you go a little bit wider if you're gonna take it to a fist you need to have a wider base with your feet so you're actually going to go a little bit further than hip width apart maybe go shoulder width apart for that plank stance so we're in this plank position here again tucking tailbone under shoulders are down and back and our head is not up our head is not forward, our head is down, looking at the ground, keeping nice neutral spine from tailbone up to that cervical spine. So there is a version for wrists. You can even grab dumbbells as long as they are that hexagonal shape and they have a flat side. Don't use the adjustables because the adjustables are smooth all the way around. You have to have something that has a flat surface to do those planks. Now, what you can do if you say, oh, that still bothers me, you can take it down to a forearm plank. Forearm plank, again, now instead of your wrist being underneath the shoulder, the elbow has to be underneath the shoulder because again, it's all about the alignment of the body. So we're gonna take it here. Again, we're going to be hip width apart with those legs, tucking tailbone under, taking ourselves out of that turtle shell, making sure our shoulders are down and back and our core is engaged. It should almost feel like somebody is pulling your belly button, uh, like your belly button's attached to a string that's attached to the ceiling, and that should be where that pulling motion should feel. That's how you know you've got proper core engagement when you're doing that plank. All right, so say, what do I do if I'm not there yet for a plank on the floor? You take it up to a surface. So the first place would be you could take it to a wall and you could lean in here, making sure that shoulder and hands are aligned, leaning back obviously with two legs, which I'm not gonna show because I don't have a wall in front of me. But you would lean back here, again, keeping glutes engaged, shoulders down and back, and eyes forward, and making sure shoulder wrist is aligned or you can take it down to another surface. You can go to a chair. So again, with chair, my shoulder and wrists are engaged. They're aligned. There's a nice straight line from this. And I'm making sure on this one, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes. Now, if you squeeze your glutes automatically, what happens is the arch comes out of your back anyways, because you don't wanna have a big arch back there. You wanna make sure that you've got that proper core engagement. And so now you're holding a nice tight plank. You should feel this through your quads. You should feel it through those glutes. And those arms are on fire because you're holding it up. We're using all the stabilizers here to hold that plank. Now, again, you can go up on your wrists 
if it's uncomfortable, you can take it to a dumbbell. Just make sure your surface is not smooth where those weights can shift. You can put a towel down so that it holds those weights in place and you have a nice gripped surface, or you can take it to a forearm. So you can take it down to the forearm. You can hold this plank here. This is gonna be even better and you actually might find you'll have more core engagement because now all that pressure is taken off of those wrists and you can really focus on squeezing the glutes, keeping those shoulders down and back and your hands are free. So I know that sometimes there'll be like one, two, three minute planks that you'll see in videos sometimes given. Well, if you're at a forearm plank, you know, you can have your phone, you can sit here, you could read a book as, and then it takes your mind off of what you're doing. You're holding that plank, you're really, really focusing on keeping that form and you've got your core engaged. So there are the options of a plank. Hopefully that helps.